اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بیس الاسم الفسوق بعد الایمان ومن لم یتب فاولائک هم الظالمون عزیز دوستو السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I recited the last part of ayat number 11 of Surah Hujrat. Surah Hujrat we have already explained in three parts. This is the last part because first part it was covering Ya ayyuhallah zina amanu la yaskhar qawmum min qawmin asa an yakunu khairam minhum wa la nisaum min nisaain asa an yakunna khairam minhunna. So this was explained already in first part wala talmizu anfusakum this is explained in the second part and wala tanabazu bil alqab so this is explained in the third part now we are ending the last part is we are explaining bisal ismul fusuq baad al iman wa man lam yatub fa ulaika humuz zalimun so allah said Basal ismul fusuko badal iman. Is it better for you? This is like a question type. You, I can make this a, a translation like a question type that is very important and wonderful and nice for you. So Allah is saying, is it good for you? Is it better for you? So after iman, you will have the bad name. So is it better? Is it good that you have Iman? After having Iman, you can get the bad name that is added to the Fisk. To the Fisk mean due to that you will be called Fasik, the sinful person. Do you like it? So it means when Basal ism mean other meaning is like Basal ism when you are calling other person with bad name and like walatana bazubil alqab so when you are giving a bad name to the other people then after that do you think you have done a good job have you done a good good practice or sinful act so this is sinful act based on ism this is bad name fusuk is the, it is sinful thing badal iman after iman you are getting this think now iman is the purity in your heart and and when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when a person is doing some sinful act a a black dot comes on the heart where is iman so what happened then when you are doing sinful act black dot comes in the heart so then when you doing the second sinful act the black dot comes they are also in your heart so iman is there automatically iman will try to move from there so this will happen there so this way so keep in mind that uh, after iman is it better for you to make your heart filthy with black dots with dirty dots of sinful act do you like it so this is the question which is here so no one like this so this way allah said then you must be careful you don't make fun of others don't um, scoff others don't uh, tease others don't insult others don't uh, taunt others don't uh, uh, copy others don't uh, give bad names to the others and don't uh, uh, find faults of others and this is the if you do like these type of things so these are the bad things they will give you bad name so do you like to get bad name it comes it is fast fisk one is fisk and more bad names they will make fasuk mean more and they will give you the name fasik after iman so iman when iman comes it becomes person become momen in place of momen if you will be called fasik do you like it
So this way, if you like to be a Mormon, a person with Iman, then you should be away from uh, the mocking, away from uh, taunting, away from uh, giving bad names to the people, away from finding faults of others, away from uh, uh, making fun of others, away from uh, uh, like insulting other people also. So you must be away from all those things which are sinful act. Then you will be a good person. So this is the message which we find in this ayat. Because to make fun of others, to taunt others, to find faults of others, and uh, like these type of uh, sinful act, if you are doing, then these are fisk or fusuk and uh, then and then you are iman so will become filthy then how is possible so this filth of these things will go into your heart and where is iman and then what will happen to iman so do you like this no one like so this way you be good person be away be away from these sinful act don't make fun of others don't tease others and don't uh, taunt others don't find faults of others <clears throat> don't give bad names to the others and be a good person within your society so that you can get the good uh, deeds and those will be written in your account at the day of judgment you will get the so reward of that mashallah so this way allah said in the second part <clears throat> If a person who is not doing Tawbah Astaghfar, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُزَّالِمُونَ And those are people wrongdoers. So you think now, these are bad things like to make fun of others and to, to, to make fun of others, to give bad names to others, to taunt others. So these type of things, these are bad things, sinful act. If you are doing this, and uh, then you are not uh, requesting Allah for Tawbah Astaghfar, so you will be called Zalimin, the wrongdoers. But if you will do Tawbah Astaghfar and we will have a promise not to do again, then inshallah Allah will forgive you also. So this is very important to understand that uh, if you are having a uh, Tawbah Astaghfar, repenting over your sinful act before Allah and requesting for forgiveness, so Allah will forgive. Otherwise, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Otherwise, you will be the wrongdoers. And wrongdoers, if the people without Tawbah Astaghfar, if they die at the day of judgment, they will get to the punishment also. So be careful. This is the life, short life for us. We have to look after us because this life is uh, the <clears throat> short life. So the life hereafter is forever. So we have to look after that. So this is very, very important for us. If we will follow this, Alhamdulillah, we will be a good person. And this time you have seen so many sinful acts, the doors of them are opened through cartoons, through uh, movies, through um, theatres, through, uh, through different uh, ways like uh, com comedian, um, like uh, um, dramas and different things. So people, they get from their information and then spread up in the society in order to paralyze their... Uh, uh, religious, uh, uh, you know, the manners. So this is not a good thing. We have to look after our Islam, learn it and follow completely uh, the rules, regulations that are given to us through Holy Prophet Wasallam, and make our this life and, li and life hereafter on the basis of this life better so that we should have a good face at the day of judgment before Allah. Allah give us tawfiq. Ameen.